What's going on all you mentees? Uncanny Omar here from Near Main Condition and it is the return of graphic novel hidden gems. We're going to be talking about five for the month of December of 2021. So let's get started. And welcome back everybody. So back by popular demand because so many of you reached out to me asking if this segment was going to come back and here's your answer. Yes, it was coming back. And this is the segment where I talk about graphic novels that not a lot of people talk about. I don't see a lot of love being thrown to some of these books. And there are so many books released every week that a lot of them go under the radar. So I try to put the spotlight on some of these. And some of these you may have heard of. Some of these you may have read. You may have read all five of these. And some of these you may not have even uh, heard of. So... That is the whole point of this, to make sure that everybody gets a chance to check out some of these books. I'll be showing off the artwork and then talking about why I enjoy these books. Astonishing Melody is actually helping me out with one of them, and I've read it. It's freaking awesome. So, at the end of the video, please, in the comment section, leave, um, you know, what book I should be checking out, what book you enjoyed that you haven't seen me talk about on the channel. There is a playlist. Uh, it's the Hidden Gems playlist. If you want to go back and watch them all, go for it. So let's go ahead and get started. Satellite Falling by Steve Horton, Stephen Thompson, and Martin Morasso, published by IDW Comics. This is an all-in-one, so this is all there is. Um, you don't need to read anything after this or before this. It's a standalone graphic novel. It is mature content, though. Uh, there's some strong graphic scenes in here, um, but most of it is just violence, really. So, the concept of this particular book is that we have the character of Lily, who is the only human on this alien world, and she has lost somebody named Ava in her past here on Earth. She was close to this woman named Ava, and both of them had a relationship, and you see through a series of flashbacks, she talks to her almost like a journal entry um, talking about how much he misses her and she's taken up being a taxi driver in this alien world however she's not just a taxi driver she's also a bounty hunter that works for the police department and she does it in a unique way she uses these holograms to pretend to be other aliens or other races and in one particular case she runs upon this alien trafficking i can't say human trafficking but alien trafficking of children and she is familiar with one of the kids so she bursts them out and then finds out that there's this whole corruption going on within the government and she tries to find out exactly who is behind all of this she gets the police help she has her own team members and there's so many plot twists in here i really enjoyed it i love the character of lily uh thompson's artwork is phenomenal it is detailed and realistic and one of the biggest highlights of this was just seeing the alien designs from him and strongly suggest reading this one um, again published by idw and it's a wonderful read and i i don't think i've heard anyone uh mention this particular book but i ended up reading this a couple of years ago and Fell in love with it. Can't recommend it high enough. Shirtless Bear Fighter by Jody LaHoop, Sebastian Gerner, and Nil Vendrell from Image Comics. Let's have some fun. Why not? This book was so ridiculous, over the top. Loved every minute of it. It's another one that's all in one. I would suggest older teens because of the pixelated nudity. But the pixelated nudity adds to the humor in this. Um, so... <laughs> How I describe this book that's so stupid? It's wonderful. So a bunch of bears start going crazy, and then the FBI tries to get Shirtless Bear Fighter, who was an FBI agent at one time, to fight back and save the day. So Shirtless, that's his name, who was an orphan raised from birth by a forest pack of bears, uh, later he ends up leaving them, now has to go and attack these bears that are trying to destroy these cities. So the government hires him to go and save the cities. And it's <laughs> there's some really um, interesting twists and turns in this one because when you think of bears, you just think of like the animals, but there's so many different types of bears that he has to fight in here. And sometimes, oh man, he's doing these wrestling moves in the nude. It's so ridiculous. It's over the top. 
And sometimes in comic books, you know, it can't be too serious. It has to be about having fun. And that's what this is. I can't recommend this enough to people. Uh, it came out a couple of years ago. I know The Astonishing Melody and I uh, reviewed it maybe two years ago. We both loved it. It's 100% recommended uh, by both of us. Again, from Image Comics and older teens. I Love the Wrong Earth is published by Ahoy Comics by Tom Payer and Jamal Eigel. And this, this is a really fun premise to a book, but it's not just fun. It's pretty dramatic, too. It's got a great story. In fact, this is just the first volume. It is continued. This collects issues one through six with some bonus issues in the back of, um, well, here, it won't make sense unless I explain the premise. So um, we have Alpha Earth and we have Omega Earth. And in Alpha Earth is Dragonfly Man and his psychic stinger. And in Omega Earth is just Dragonfly Man. Um, so in the back, you have like little stories about Omega uh, Dragonfly Man, Alpha Stinger, Alpha Dragonfly Man. There, I said them all. Okay. Um, so that's a really nice touch. But anyway, um, so the premise is that these two Dragonfly Men cross into each other's worlds um, while they are battling the villain number one, who is uh, in... Alpha World, conceited, and hokey, even uh, Dragonfly Man and Stinger are hokey. Think of the uh, old 60s Batman show. But in Omega World, it's Batman from like the Dark Knight Returns is gritty. So um, when they go into each other's worlds, it's definitely a difference in the villain and um, how the cops interact with them. And it, so, yeah, it's funny, but it's also like, oh, snap that just happened right um because they don't know how to act in each other's worlds um finally i really like the character of deuce she's the sidekick to number one in the alpha world uh, alpha earth and she comes into her own she's a really interesting character so there's great characterization the art it's a lot of fun to see the characters um i'm sorry the colors change between um, whichever world you're on and as you can see um, in the back there's different art styles in those one shot stories so do yourself a favor and check this out blackbird by sam humphreys and jen bartell published by image comics this is the story of nina crazy baby rodriguez uh, who has always known there's something hidden in this world in the streets of la and when she was 13 years old uh, she came face to face with this magical dragon. They, her and her sister were in the room and they thought it was an earthquake. Nope, it's a magical dragon. So she's always known that this m magic world has existed. While everybody else forgot, the dragon did some kind of magical spell that made everybody forget. And she lied about forgetting. So she's always known about this world and knowing that one day this world would find them. So 10 years passed since she was 13 and she's had to deal with the death of her mother, who is really important to her. Uh, there's a lot of drug and alcohol abuse in here, but yet she holds on to the belief that there's magic out there. And one day she gets a visit from a magic group and well, they say pretty much, no, you're not welcomed here. However, her sister gets kidnapped and now she has to go after these people that have kidnapped her sister in this magical realm. And that's what this story is about. It's got beautiful, wonderful, jaw-dropping artwork by Jen Bartel. It's just such a color-drenched, luminous piece of art that just, it's, it, it's drenched with life. The expressions on their faces are so realistic because a book like this needs that balance you need this dark and grittiness to the reality of life of the, like i mentioned the drug abuse and alcohol abuse and then on the other side you have this beautiful magical colorful world i think jim bartell is the perfect artist for this i think honestly the art is probably what i enjoyed most about this not to say that the story is bad or anything i had fun with the story and i want to know where it goes uh this is an ongoing series though it's um i think as of now it's on hiatus uh this is only volume one i think there was another volume coming out i can't remember if it was if it actually came out or if it was coming out next year this i recommend for older teens just because of the strong language that's it uh, but again from image comics if you've not read it and you're a big fan of jen bartell's covers you need to look at her sequential art because it is drop dead gorgeous 
Killing and Dying by Adrian Tomine from Drawn and Quarterly. The big thank you to uh, Darkstar916 for sending me a copy of this a couple of years ago. I think it was two years ago. I finally got to read it last year. And this was honestly like number 11 on my top 10 reads of 2020. It almost made the list. Um, it's such a wonderful, humorous slash dark story. So what, it, what, what this is, is six separate short stories that are somewhat interconnected. And they're all just a portrayal of contemporary life. And it's just done in such a unique, somber, and very hopeful way. I love the tone of his stories. For example, the very first story is called The Herba Sculpture. It's about a guy that mows lawns, and he looks like he was going through a midlife crisis. And he tells his wife that he's starting to create sculptures out of these uh, trees, mixing them with clay, and she is so behind him, so he's trying to sell it. And you see, like, how his dream of becoming an artist goes through for, like, five years. And the realization that he may not be a talented person. And the realization that the only one that has his back is his wife, who loves him and sees him so differently than he sees himself. I, It's that type of story. I don't even want to say slice of life, because it just... It's like capturing certain moments in people's lives and oh they're so well done the, the the title killing and dying is the story about a a very untalented 14 year old girl who wants to be a comedian and meanwhile her mother is dying of cancer in the background and the story is done in this poached like this postage stamp size 20 panel grids so you're gonna see a lot of different panel layouts in this you're gonna see color you're gonna see black and white and oh man all these tales are just so powerful and poignant that some will break your heart so happy holidays because that's all we need but in all seriousness i think it's it's one of the most important reads and if you don't have it in your library you know you should definitely try to check it out um i'm sure some of these books probably are available from your library but if you want to purchase them check out our sponsors CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They pride themselves on packaging your books so they arrive safely in an excellent condition as well as prompt and helpful service. Check out the bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. CGN is excited to announce that they are now taking pre-orders. They're making it easier for you to ensure that you don't miss out on the hottest releases. CGN is currently running a special promotion for your mentees. If you're a first time customer, let them know that you were referred by near mint condition at the checkout and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. This promotion is valid for U.S. customers only. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with a kind of deep discount and quality shipping and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. If you live in Europe and are interested in pre-ordering or purchasing Omnis, then you should definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices for Marvel and DC big books within the EU, flat shipping of 990 euro for EU countries, extremely careful and sturdy packaging, emails are answered within 24 hours, and they have a superb selection of new releases and out-of-print books on their website. Just head over to waltzcomicshop.com for more great deals and rare titles and for a limited time you can use the code near mint condition all one word at the checkout for free shipping to all eu countries with your first order Walt's Comic Shop, your reliable source for Omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. And those were five graphic novel hidden gems for the month of December of 2021, wrapping up the year. So in the comments down below, let me know what you think is a hidden gem that you don't hear anybody talk about. I've already gotten a bunch of recommendations, and believe me, I thank you all. Even if I don't reply back, I'm so sorry, uh, I do write down the ideas that you all give me for some of these books that I should be checking out. So I've bought a bunch already this past year for, for as long as I've been doing this and have been reading them so thank you all because you all make you know videos like this possible to not be doing this without you all and everyone please stay healthy and safe out there much love <laughs>